What's up, Survivor Fanatics? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my subsistence. Let's play this is episode 29, and we are not going to actually do the forward operating base today. Um, I've decided that I, on further reflection, I do want the base to be three, uh, three layers high because I kind of feel like that would be like intimidating and be a pretty cool base. Um, like it's like it's supposed to be like a tower, and a tower. Um, Two levels high is is not a tower. It's just it's I don't know what it is, but it's it's garbage. So, um, so we're gonna go ahead and do some farming today. So let's uh, let's get prepared. First of all, uh, I've got all of the foundations made. I've got all of the ceilings made except for one. I'm gonna need another four wood ceilings. Uh, you can see right there. I've got the stairs done. And over here, I'm going to need 15 walls, and I'm going to need. I got the doorway, and then I'm going to need 12 wood windows. No, no, not 12. I'm going to need 8 wood windows. So we've got another day of grinding. I think um, a day of grinding with you guys, a day of grinding by myself, and I think we should be just about there. I'm going to stop using bricks um, for now because my cordage is starting to get a little bit low. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and use wood for the time being. And let's go ahead and do some farming. We're going to go ahead and turn off our grow light. Uh, we did pick our our vegetables yesterday, um, and we put the grow light on overnight. We're going to go ahead and turn that off, and we're going to take care of this, and we're going to take care of the chickens. Uh, we did start getting some animal feces, which is pretty pretty freaking sweet. Never thought I'd be so happy about poop, but uh, there it is. So let's go ahead and put it right in there, and let's go ahead and put one thing of water in there. And let's take care of our chickens. We've got four chickens. They're all pretty much low level, so we're not going to mess around. We're not going to try and catch any more chickens for a while, uh, because um, I never want more than four chickens. They're just they're they're actually pretty expensive to keep fed, and um, I'm actually like uh, starting to r run a little bit low on fruits and vegetables for myself. So, yeah, uh, I think we're pretty good on with the chickens for now. I don't think we're gonna we're not gonna get any more than four. Once we start getting them to level ten. And we start slaughtering them, we will go ahead and get some more chickens. Um, my hunger looks just fine. So we are going to go out. What this is going to do, this feces, is it's going to uh, it's gonna allow me to use ash to make more gunpowder. Which is going to be sweet. It is for gunpowder, right? Yeah, I believe it is. So, alright guys, let's go ahead and do some, uh, let's go ahead and do some farming. I'm really sorry about that. I just, uh, you know, I was just thinking about it and I was like, you know, it's supposed to be a watchtower like a forward operating base you guys did give me some cool names um i didn't like go through all the names yet or write down the one i want to use yet but um you guys definitely gave me some cool names i'm gonna pick one of your names for the forward operating base um be probably before next video so that is gonna be pretty sweet i did get a pretty decent amount of wood yesterday but it's just not an oh okay then it's just not enough, so we're going to get a little bit of wood today. I'm not going to go too crazy with the wood today, though. Uh, I'm thinking between this and next video, I will have a day to grind, and I'll spend most of that day getting wood. Our our number one concern today is nails. We need nails, and lots of them. I'm actually starting to get a, I'm actually starting to get a pretty decent amount of iron now. Um, I've got some iron being cooked, and I've actually got 53 iron already um, smelted. So my iron supply is looking pretty good, which uh, which is pretty cool. Which means we can afford lock boxes to get lock boxes. We actually got a, I actually got a lock box yesterday. Um, you know, it's a typical lock box. A lot of neat stuff in there. Nothing crazy. Uh, we should probably kill that guy, but we'll leave him alone for now. Um, do I want to leave everything running? Eh, I don't know. Oh, there's another lock box. Well, let's get it. Let's get it. I don't want to leave everything running anyway when I leave. Because I'm still worried about that generator generating enough power to fill up my my BCU and, and like just waste you know animal animal fuel uh, biofuel animal fat slash biofuel. It's like the worst thing in the world, man. Wasting that stuff. It really, really is. All right, so we're gonna need 18 of this. And by the way, when I got the um, lockbox off camera, uh, I did get eight. I did get 10 iron. So, I really didn't lose much. So, that's pretty sweet. Alright, lockpick. Okay, so we should be able to leave this on. We can hold 2,000 power. And this thing is just a little over half full. I'm pretty sure we can leave that on. I'm pretty sure we can leave that on while we're gone. Alright, here we go. And we're using so much power, too. So, like you can see right here, I've got some more iron being uh, smelted in there. Alright, let's go get that lockbox. 
Yeah, the lockboxes are really good. Once you've got the iron, you really should get them when you can. They really have, like, just a smorgasbord of good stuff. There it is. And it's got a chest right next to it. Two lockboxes. Well, I'll be damned. Well, maybe we'll get both. Who knows? I don't know. You never know. Stranger things have been known to happen. We're really looking for nails, though. But you usually get a pretty decent amount of nails in these lockboxes. So let's see what we get in this one. If we get a lot of iron or anything. Um, okay, so we got zero iron and barely any nails. This is a piece of crap. This is an awful, awful lockbox. Although we did get some some seeds, which is nice. That's a really bad lockbox. You know what? I think I'm going to ignore that lockbox now. Although I really should get it, shouldn't I? I don't want to throw away all my iron on it. But I really don't need iron for a lot of other things. Yes, I am going to upgrade the refrigerator. You guys have been telling me to upgrade the refrigerator. I'm probably going to upgrade the refrigerator at some point, and that's going to take a lot of iron. But other than that, I don't have a lot that takes iron. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not in a hurry to upgrade the refrigerator. Um, I just don't kill anything until I need to eat it. You know, there's, there's just... Honestly, I don't even kill stuff to eat it, really. I kill it more to get the biofuel or the animal fat. But, eh, whatever. Let's get some... Let's get another one. Why the hell am I? Alright, 18. Oops. There you go. One, two, three. Well, we already had enough of that. One and two of those. Wow, two lockboxes back to back. Oh, we need mass. Well, let's go ahead and get some mass. Uh, I'm going to use some of these for mass. Let's see what we get for these. All right, that's pretty good. It's not enough, though. Let's go ahead and use a, a few eggs as well. What do I need? 70? I forget. 75. Got it. Okay. Well, now we can definitely leave the generator running. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, we're going to load this thing up as well. Just load it up, man. Like, we want that thing running. I was debating making a second generator. I don't really think I need one right now. To be perfectly honest. Um, because I could just wait for the generator to fill up. I don't really need a second generator. Although, if you have two generators running, you're losing nothing. Because they both operate in the same way. So if you run one generator for five minutes and you run two generator for ten minutes. or I'm sorry. If you run one generator for ten minutes and run two generators for, t for five minutes, you're getting exactly the same amount of power. You're just getting it in half the time. So I'll probably make another generator at some point. Six nails and a pretty decent amount of iron. We got our iron back at least. Almost. And we got six nails and a couple other things. Not bad. That second one was definitely better. It was definitely better. We do not want to kill any wolves right now. We are going to avoid the wolves because, you know, there makes no sense killing them now because we're not going to go home to cook them for a while. I also have to be prepared for my chickens to mature to level 10. And what I mean by that is if my chickens are getting close to level 10, I got to make sure I don't kill a wolf. Because, um, you know, the, the meat's going go to meat's gonna go to waste at some point. If you do that, like if you have chickens that are ready to be slaughtered and you're going to get meat from them and a lot of meat, I mean, man, chickens give you ridiculous meat. So if you have chickens that are ready to be slaughtered and you go ahead and kill a wolf, then you got wolf meat and then you got chicken meat and something's going bad and you've just wasted, wasted your time. I don't know how much that really matters though. I'm so, I'm so like against wasting meat, you know, like, I don't know why I really care that much. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know why it bothers me. It just does. Alright, so we got to watch out for that bear. Level 3 bear, 230. Shit. I didn't loot it. At least I didn't have to open it again, right? That's pretty cool. Man, I'm really disappointed that I was hoping I could make that freaking tower today for you guys. Next video for sure, I guarantee you. I mean, it's pretty cool to build it on a level, on a, on a episode 30, so, nice round even number, it's nice. Although I still would have liked to have done it for you today. Alrighty then, slip around, up oh, fence, that fence doesn't really come in until, uh, you know what, I turned down my, um, field, my, um, view distance for, you know, for frame rate issues, so that fence pops in kind of at the last minute. This game needs optimization, but that is, uh, you know, 
That's not really going to be first and foremost on Cold Games list at the moment. Where was that wolf? Where are you, Wolfie? Huh, still don't see him. Might have to kill this guy. The hell is he? Hmm. Oh, there he is. Sneaky little bugger. He's like the game edge of the wolf world. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to know why I'm thinking of game edge as a sneaky, sneaky little criminal, you should go watch our Rust, Rust Let's Play. <laughs> yeah, watch it from his point of view. The last episode. You'll know exactly why Game Edge is a little sneaky bugger. Okay. Let's open this sucker up. Alright. So we're starting to get some nails. Um, they're not flowing in as quick as I'd like them to be. I've got a lot of stuff to build. So. Oh, boy. Well, whatever. I mean, I, I've got time. I could I could definitely go through and do another, another day's run. A, a day's run. I wonder how long a day is in this game. Does anybody know? Feels like it goes by relative. What the hell was that? Did you see that black smoke? I wonder if that was a node um, despawning. I bet you it was. There's probably some kind of. Oh, Jesus, I want to get that lockbox down. Or not lockbox, but I want to get that box down there. But there's two guys in my way. Yeah, I think that was a, a node despawning. That, that crate over there, down here to the left, that is what we like to call a builder's crate, I think it's called. And uh, that's where you're going to get your nails from. So, really want to get that damn thing. Come on. Come to Papa. There we go. This is called builder's crate, right? Or supply, builder's supply or something? Builder's supplies container. Not even a lot of nails in there. Hmm. Game's getting a little stingy with the nails. I mean, I can't really complain. I've gotten a lot of good... I've gotten a lot of nails in this Let's Play. I mean, I'm really building a ridiculously large amount of stuff. So I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, you know, I need more nails. Don't do this to me, game. Keep keep the nails flowing. How about allowing... Hey, Cold Games, buddy, pal, best friend. How about allowing us to craft nails? Like... We really need that. We really do. I mean, as you can tell. We need to be able to craft nails, my friend. Alright. Yeah, still plenty early in the day. I did not need to go home. The fire might burn out. I'm, really, I'm not really that concerned about it. And that generator will never fill up that... I don't... There's no way it's going to fill up 2,000 electricity with the things I have running. Um, by the time it runs out of fuel. No way. Never gonna happen. Okay. Hmm. This is a bit of a new area. Pretty sure I've been here before, but not often because I don't recognize it. I don't usually go this far away from my base. I'm getting a little hungry. That that might be a problem. Let's uh let's let's get some wood while we wait for our stamina to come up. It's another thing, cold games. Uh, I hate to say this because I know it's like kind of a little bit of a nerf, but swinging an axe should definitely take stamina. Just saying. You, I know that's probably on your list, but just in case it isn't, you should write that down. Okay. Got a big old bear up there, and it looks like he's coming somewhat my direction. Let's go this way. Now we are on the opposite side of the hunter camps, so we can't just go straight home from here. We're going to have to go around to get home, which means getting home is going to take us a um, pretty good d deal longer than normal. So, yeah, we need to be we need to be ready for that. Make sure we go we start going home earlier than I might normally do so. As a matter of fact, I could start heading home right now. It doesn't matter because uh, the way the spawns work in this game, they could really spawn anywhere. So I can start going home right now, and I'll probably still come across chests. Uh, let's go ahead and eat all these. Yeah, let's do that. 
I don't want to push myself trying to get home when it's late. There's no reason. There's no reason to go to new places. It's not like I go to new places. I'm a better chance of spawns. Okay. Anything up here? Hello? Hello? Any animals up here? Guess not. Guess not. <laughs> I said snot. Guess snot. <laughs> yeah, I'm 12. Anyway, um, there's some uh, there's some new uh, uh, early access survival games coming out that I'm pretty excited about. Well, some new and some not so new. Um, Astroneer looks really awesome. I've had Astroneer on my wish list for like a year. And uh, it's finally coming out tomorrow. It's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, I'm probably going to start... A no, no problem. I'm going to start a Let's Play on that. And some other games that aren't new but um, are unknown by most people are um, Savage Lands, which I've already started recording. It's going up this weekend. And I want to play Kingdoms. I want to start a Let's Play on Kingdoms, like like Game Edge, my hero Game Edge. Uh, but here's the thing, though, about Kingdoms. Um, it's going to get pushed out for Astroneer... <laughs> And Savage Lands for the time being. Um, I will get to Kingdoms at some point. It's just... I really want to play it. It just... You know... It just got pushed out. Sim simple as that. It's just... There's other games I need to play more. But... It's always nice to have all these games. You know? Like... I mean, there's a lot of games coming out. Even early next year. It's going to be a busy time on the channel. I'm going to have to make some cuts on the channel though. Like, I'm going to have to... I'm not going to talk specifically. But I do have to make some cuts on the channel... So if your favorite Let's Play is not on the channel, and I've done it in the past, hang in there. It will be back at some point, I can almost guarantee you. But I need to make some room for some other games. Except for Seven Days to Die, that's not going anywhere. You know that. New, need to do some new stuff, though, to keep the channel growing. Um, you don't want to get stale with one set of games for too long. It's never good. Never good. Got anything else down here? Should probably go up top. Oh, we got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Hey, how'd that wolf get hurt? Look at him. He's 83 of 105 hit points. I wonder if he fell off the cliff. Should probably put him out of his misery, shouldn't I? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I know if I shoot him now, his meat is not gonna go bad by the time I get home, but still. I'm gonna wait. I should really kill him, shouldn't I? I mean, he's hurt. He's got like a hurt paw. You know? I mean, I'm I'm really doing him a favor. You're welcome. I'm a hero. I'm a I'm the hero of subsistence. I see a hurt wolf. What do I do? Do I bandage up his leg? Do I feed him? Do I domesticate him? Or do I put a shotgun slug right in his dome? Well, I think you know me well enough. Hmm, domestication. That would be pretty sweet. Well, that would be pretty sweet, Cold Games. I know it's not going to happen. It's not what this game's about. But, man, imagine being able to tame the animals in this game. And ever since Ark came out, it's all about taming everything these days. <laughs> Even Seven Days to Die is talking about being able to tame wolves in that game. It's a fun mechanic. Oh, boy. You know what? Forget you, pal. Uh, I shouldn't have used that health kit. I was I was debating as I used it, and I was like, eh. We could always make more. It's not like they're really hard to make or anything. Although they do take four of the medic medicinal plants. I didn't even get that much from them. Well, oh, whatever. Oh, come on, man. I just wanted this freaking chest. Or crate, whatever you want to call it. Hold up there, Wolfie. Whoa. Okay, I hope that didn't break my uh, my recording too badly. Um, I accidentally hit the uh, Windows key and it minimized my game. That's a bad time to be minimized, man. Whew. This is one of those special trees. The one that... Uh, one of the big ones that give you a bunch of wood. And I'm not catching any of them. But that's okay. I will pick them up off the floor like a boss. Okay. Now, all the meat I have on me should be plenty good enough when I get home to cook. Should not be an issue. And I think that the the regular, like the uncooked meat, um, if you bring it home and then cook it, I think it resets the spoil timer on it. 
So you can like, you know, carry it around for a while when it's uncooked, then cook it, and then it resets the spoil timer. As a matter of fact, I know it. Well, Game Edge told me, or not Game Edge, but um, Cold Games told me about eight months ago. That's how it worked. Um, assuming he hasn't changed it, it's, you know, that's the way it is. Kappa, we need you for solar panels. I need to make a lot more solar panels. I think, um, I think once I, the forward operating base is done, I'm going to concentrate on just mass producing solar panels. Okay. I mean, we did okay on this run, but man, only 14 nails. Like we looted a lot of stuff. Like, damn, man. That's what I'm saying, man. We really need some, like, craftable nails. No joke. I would have taken craftable nails before before uh, uh, bullet casings. Look at this. Nothing. Although that's not the kind of thing that would give you a lot of nails. But still, sometimes it gives you some. Right, I'm going to keep the wood on me for the fireplace. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Come on. Give me a big chunk of nails. Come on. Ten nails. Come on, just give me ten nails. Seriously? Damn it. That's the way this game works sometimes though, guys. You know? You'll be on a you'll be on a great run and you'll be just getting nails left and right, like I have been, and then all of a sudden, you know, it just dries up. That's just the way that's just the way the RNG goes. And um, you know, if I can't find any nails while farming tomorrow, we might not be doing the forward operating base next video. We'll see. It's all gonna be a, it's all gonna be about the nails, guys. It's all going to be about the nails. We need to make four more roofs, which I think is 40 nails. And... Four more roofs and four more windows. And I think that's just about it. Uh, we probably need a good 100 to 120 nails. And we have whatever we have at home in 14. So... I think I'll get enough tomorrow. I think I'll get... Uh, not tomorrow, but I think I'll get enough next time I... Next time I uh, go out farming. I think tomorrow in game, off camera, I think I'll be able to get enough. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. You never can tell. Honestly, I don't remember how many I have at home, so... Uh, pick that up. How many of these do I have? 12. Yeah, I might still start... I might still keep making bricks out of those. The thing is, I'm, I'm running low on cordage, and I don't want to run out of cordage. Cordage is very important when it comes to building uh, bases as well. Just like nails. Alright, no more chests, huh? Get another lock chest, maybe? Another lock chest, three? Can we go for three today? Mm-hmm. I don't see anything. Huh. Okay. Well, we got a wolf out here. That's gonna that's gonna suck. I've already got more meat on me than Well, I've got just enough meat to eat. So if you know what if I have to kill a wolf, so be it. Alright, keep walking, wolf. Keep walking, bro. Okay. How are my chickens doing? We've got a level 10. Alright, so we've got one level 10. That means we should start looking for chickens to catch. Now we got to See, just like I said, I, oh, don't get the meat when you got chickens coming. Well, here you go. I've got a bunch of meat and now I've got a level 10 chicken. It's just, there's too much meat in the game. Not too much. I shouldn't say that. I don't need, I don't need cold games nerfing the meat. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and put this in here. Normally I would I would pause the video right about now. This is like kind of inventory management type stuff, but eh, no need. We're gonna be done soon anyway. Okay, so we got five of that. Thirty-seven. We got thirteen. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and make another brick, another fuel brick. We'll save the wood. All right, so we got eighteen of that. I mean, wood's easy enough to get. So. Go ahead and put that in there. Okay, so what do I need? I need, uh... Okay. How many nails do I have? I don't have anywhere near enough nails. No, God, not even close. Not even close. I probably need about another hundred. I probably need about another hundred... hundred nails. 
Oh, brother. Alright, what do we got? We got some iron. And copper. Looking good, looking good. Okay, that's fine. Plenty of power there. The, the, the mass is coming in pretty nicely. I'm going to prove to you that I don't always forget the meat. Come on. I'm not going to forget, damn it. Not going to forget. I'm not going to forget, not going to forget, not going to forget. Split and then split again. We'll go with three. There we go. Eat up. Nom, 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 nom. Alright, guys. I'm going to call this one here. I'm going to go do a little bit more farming. And, uh, well, maybe I should just make an extra long video. I mean, what's the point of turning off the video if I'm just going to go farming? This is stuff, you know. Oh, my God. There's so many animals out here. Let's go out the back door. Oh, look at this. Yeah, what's the point of cutting the video if I'm just going to go out and farm for the rest of the day? Day's almost over. We'll just do a little bit longer of a video. I like to keep my videos um, lean and moving and not, like, bloated and stuff, but I think this is pretty interesting stuff, this farming, so. Alright, we got some chickens there. I'm not really... Oh, we got another lock chest. Beautiful. Three lock chests, people. Three lock chests today. What up? Three lock chests. Alright, what do I need? I need the two of that and two of that. One, two. One, two. I'm spending my iron recklessly, though. That's the problem. I mean... Man, I've, st I've still got 32, though. That's not so bad, right? I mean... Alright, we still got some fuel in there. Let's uh, take this. Let's go get the lock chest. And finish farming until nighttime. Come on, give me some nails. Give me some nails. You son of a beeswax. Eight and seven. Cool, cool, cool. And we got the iron back. Pretty much all the iron back. Beautiful. Fifteen nails and got the iron back. You couldn't ask for more. That was great. Three lock chests. Booyah. Loving it, loving it, loving it. We didn't get to make the tower today. Oh, six more nails. All right, all right. We're starting to do a little better. We got 50 nails now. We're up to 50 nails. We're really low on wood. I'll get wood off camera. I don't need to be getting wood on camera. All right, let's see if we can get a, maybe a ch another couple chests before we go. I mean, I could, if I find a lockbox, I could theoretically get four lockboxes today. That would be sick. It's getting dark, though. Even if I find one, I won't be able to make a key and get out here quick enough. Where's that coming from? Oh, boy. Are we going to have to do some battle? Are we going to have to do some battle or not? Are we going to go, bro? Alright, you know what? Let's take care of our chickens and our farm. And then uh, call it a video. Alright, there, there. There, we'll take those with us. That's good. Take those with us as well. Oh, hold on. Let's do it. Let's do it, bro! Come at me! Come at me, you piece of shit! He hurt my leg! How dare you hurt my leg? Freaking hit my base, starting shit. I thought he was gonna run up the stairs. That's kind of weird he didn't. You hit my base, you're starting shit, you're freaking hurting my leg. What is your malfunction? What is your problem? Okay, what are we looking at here? Uh, we need food. Yeah, alright. Split one. Split one. There you go. Split one. Uh, split one and split one. Okay. Where's that level 10? Where are you, level 10? There you are. I gotcha. I gotcha. We're gonna cook him up and eat him. Man, my leg is messed up. Freaking bears. I swear to God. I hate you! 
Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm gimped here, man. Turn that on. Put that in there. Uh, we need some water. Split one. 70%? Eh, I'm gonna leave it. If I, if I used water, I'd waste 3%, but there's no point. It's not gonna... I can get back to it tomorrow. It won't even be a problem. Alright, so put that right there. Let's put that down here. We did get some... Sweet, we're up to 24 tomato seeds. Because the thing is, um, you know, you could you could try and farm all the tomatoes you want, but you don't get seeds from the farm. So you still have to loot the seeds, which I think is kind of messed up. I don't know how he could balance it to not make it, you know, too easy. But, you know, that's the way farms work in real life, dude. You get you get the farm going and you use the seeds. Farms are a renewable, self-sustainable way of feeding yourself. That's I think you're going to have to be okay with that. You know, but I can see how maybe it can make the game a little bit easier than cold games would like it. I, re I respect that, but still. Alright, let's fix our leg. I think we're going to need some of these. We're going to need the sticks. We're going to need the sticks, right? I haven't fixed. I haven't made a splint in a while. Yeah, we're going to need some sticks. It's another thing. Um, Oh, that takes two sticks. I got it. Alright, splint. You guys actually see me hurt my leg, man. It doesn't happen often. It doesn't happen often. Okay. We're going to wait a little while to cook that meat. I'll cook it when I feel like it's getting close to going bad. And uh, we'll probably be able to eat it. Although, I'll probably just let it go bad. Well, I wonder what I can get. Okay, some, some people were asking me what... Wait. Oh, I didn't use it. So, some people were asking me, Well, Cage, what do you get... For mass wise for a level 10 chicken now before I do this I'm going to assume it's gonna be the same as a level 1 chicken yep you get nothing for it it's it's pointless now this dude's gonna starve to death so we might as well well maybe we could just keep him there if he starves to death I could still butcher him right and eh, let's just butcher him I don't maybe if he starves to death you won't get like all of the materials from him or something I don't know And I'm gonna wait for him to go. This uh, this meat right here from the bear. I'm just gonna I'm gonna count it as a loss. Um, I'm gonna eat the chicken meat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until I feel like this this chicken's about to go bad, and I'll cook it, and then I'll wait longer, and then I'll eat it. So okay, guys. Well, long episode here. That's gonna be it for episode 29. We'll see you next time for episode 30. Hopefully, I'll be ready to make the forward operating base by then. Till then, take it easy.